Hello there. <laughs> hey, <laughs> guess what? What? We got more little red dots. Yes. I'm so excited. Hey, everybody. Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We're Happy Art Treasures. We are resellers in Lincoln, Nebraska. Three homers of stuff. This might be kind of a long video. If it is, I apologize, but we have a lot of things to cover. We are going to start off with the map because we yes. didn't do the map last time and we want people to see the map because we want people to tell us where, where they're, they're watching from. from. Yes. Um, so we're going to start with that. We have like 32 orders to pull, so we got quite a few orders, and we have two other topics. Uh, we are going to take a trip out to the garage and yep. just give you an update on the last video, the bad buy. Yeah. Tell you how that kind of ended up, and then later on we're going to uh, tell you why FedEx sucks. Why we now think <laughs> FedEx sucks. So uh, let's get into this. Do you have anything else to say before we get going? Um, let's go. All right. I'm going to be the teacher, I guess, and I'm going to try to point where all of these people are. First yeah. of all, we want to say thank you for everybody who has left in the comments your name and where you're from, okay? But if you don't tell us exactly where you're from and you just say the state, we're going to stick you in the middle like we did here. Yep, we'll, we'll do that too. <laughs> There's a lot in the Midwest. So we're going to update everybody here. We're going to say where they're from, and Donna's going yes. to point to them and right if away. You, and if you don't know what we're doing and you watch our channel, put in the comments where are you watching from and your name if you want to leave your name and then we're going to keep track of where our viewers are on this map yes okay are you ready yes. i don't know if i can do this okay alicia in lincoln nebraska that's inked picker tim and maya centerville indiana right over here alice from rincon georgia i forget which right one it is there. this one Oh my goodness. Deb Fernandina, Florida, right there. Right there. Mindy, Wichita, Kansas, right there. And Lori Hastings, Minnesota, over there. Michelle Hartley, Delaware, right in there somewhere. And Pick and Hoosier from Cambridge City, Indiana, right, right there. in there somewhere. And Teresa from Wynn, Arkansas. Arkansas. Right there. And Brittany from Cookville, Tennessee. Right there. Is it right there? Nope. Or here? Right there. Right there. I don't have my glasses on my eyeballs. High they're Plains. On your head. <laughs> I know. I said they're not on my eyeballs. <laughs> High Plains Whipper in Sterling, Kansas. We know where that is. By our friends. Kathy, West Plains, Missouri. I forget where that was from. Right there. And Doris in Oregon. We don't know what town Doris is from, so she's right in the middle of the state. Yep. And then I think we have one more. One don't more. We? Dabby, Long Beach, California, right at there. LBC. When I look at this map, it is kind of interesting, I think, because you have places like right here in Indiana, two of them really close together. And right here, look. And over here, well, these aren't really close together. Right here. But right here in Arkansas, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. And so what I look wonder. Here in Minnesota. Yeah, Minnesota there. So what I wonder right is, here, I wonder if those people know each other. Do you know each other? Because if they're both resellers, like I wonder if they know each other. Wonder, wonder, really? wonder. Really? What Ooh. else? You know what else I wonder about? I wonder. We don't have a dot on Columbus, Nebraska. We don't have a dot on Bella Vista, Arkansas. No, we do. We do. Your mom commented. Oh, she we did. We don't have one in Lyons, Kansas either, though. Oh my huh. I wonder goodness. if anybody watches from those towns Lyons, at all. Lyons, Kansas. Anyway, so Columbus. that's the map. And then, yeah, if you mail us anything, our we address. We don't have one in Texarkana. We don't have okay. one in Texarkana either. Cora. Cora does Map Monday and other things. Mail Monday. Or Mail Monday, I mean, and yes. other things. So, Cora, maybe you could have your mama help you go on and leave a comment and tell us what town you live in so we can put a map there or a pin there on the map. And there you go. A map on the pin. Yeah. All right. So, that's the map. Let's put it away and get started. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Let's go R7. Oh, <laughs> going the wrong way. Okay. All right, R7, you're looking for a nice blue ice plate. There it is. We'll get that out of packaging. This came from an abandoned apartment clean out and it sold for $33 right there. Oh, we're going to do where it sold to, right? Yeah. Arizona. Let's go to Arizona. Pretty. Next up, a pair of Justin boots. Those are leather. Those came from the storage unit in Columbus, Nebraska, and those sold for thirty-nine dollars ninety-nine cents. Going and to going to Kentucky. Yay! 
All right, next up is in box 29. 29. Oh, this one's heavy. If we end up double dipping, I'm sorry, but I don't have everything. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. We're looking for a Hallmark ornament that's a fire truck. That right there, keepsake ornament. It's a fire truck, and it sold for $12. That came from, of course, the fire buy, and it's going to California. California. Next up is in box 18. So this shelf is the last one that we, like, consolidated. So we'll see how many things we pull out of there. I'll bet you it's a whole lot. Yes. All right, in 18, we're looking for a little Bosch blue-green thing. This is a uh, leveler, self-adjust, self-leveling alignment tool right here. I got this at a garage sale for $5, and it sold for $47, and it's going to Maryland. Clothing item number 252. Another pair of jeans. Yep. A pair of Levi's 515 women's jeans. These are on clearance, and they're at $6.37, and they are going out the door to South Carolina. All right, next up in box 71, we have Tupperware. Tupperware. Oh, this box is just about empty it feels like we're looking for holiday christmas holiday cups right here okay i priced these a little cheaper because on the way home from the garage sale to home i lost one of the little coaster lid thingies okay so there's only three of those all right so 14 dollars going to texas box 112 next should be right to your left all right in box 112 we're looking for a fishing lure Bass Pro Shops Easy Lure. This came from uh, the Iowa thing, Iowa clean out. That's a fish. And that sold for $10 right there. And it is going to Texas as well. 103 is next. This one's getting a little lighter too. You're looking for a Fontanini. It's Fontanini. in the box. Which one? There's two. Yep. Uh, Deborah Goose Girl. Oh. The Goose Girl, one left. There's a Rachel also. Yes, this Goose Girl Donna got at a garage sale, and it sold for $14.99, and it's going to Michigan right Michigan. there. One more item before we take a break and run out to the garage, and it is in box 22. 22. This is our biggest sale by the day. Not our only big sale, but our biggest sale by the day. By of the, the day, day. By quite a long ways. You remember what it is? It's from Alaska. This has been list, this has been in a box for quite some time. So much so that I was guessing as to where we got it. So I messaged my friend Ruth because there were some other things in that same box that came from her. And this used to be my friend Ruth's mother's. And it's just a non-assuming little box. And look at this. This is a scarf. It's a vintage hand-woven Alaska Quivut, Quivut Musk Ox Wool Neck Warmer Scarf right there. And that sold in a day? Was it a day? Like 20 minutes. Like 20 minutes. Uh, that sold for... No, this one sold in a day, yeah. Okay, in a day for asking price of $245.99, and it's going overseas to the United Kingdom. Hmm. So this is 100%... Quivute. Quivit. 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 It's Arctic hand knitted and it has the lady's name that hand knitted it and it says this apparel is created from the rare underside or under wool of the domestic musk oxen. It is the product of a unique Arctic home industry derived from native art. This design is knitted in Nunavak Island, Alaska. How cool is that $245.99 pretty cool that's crazy so there's something to be on the lookout for if you can find one of those <laughs> said very rare there was just a couple listed and as many sold yeah which is why i listed it high so there we go that was a fun one all right let's go out to the garage and give an update on the last buyout okay all right a little field trip here into the garage the garage is of course in working order because we're constantly working so it's kind of a mess in places it's kind of not a mess in places um, these things i was going through fire boxes last night i have one two boxes that are all dollar auction stuff this pile is dollar auction stuff this over here is all ebay it's about 300 dollars worth of stuff to list except That's, this except for this look what we found 
all these boxes of you see what that is it's not soap it looks like soap that is firefighter solid chocolate flavored candy <laughs> unfortunately i can't find a year on it i asked donna if she wanted to try it but she said no heck to the no <laughs> yeah um i wish there was a year i really do but there's not it was hand poured by candy creations in belton texas somebody said on one of our videos the chocolate never expires if you would like we can send it to you. <laughs> and, uh, I think it's going to be in the trash can for more to pick up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. I think this is supposed to be brown. I Yeah, I think the colors are a little off. Okay. Anyway, so that's what we got going on. Donna's area is really cleared off over there. She right has here, been I'm knocking things out. Mark stuff for the booth. All this is going All to the booth. going tomorrow to the booth. Oh, and this is going to the booth as well. Yep. Um, and she's working on this stuff. So the last buyout, we didn't, we weren't happy with it, but we're gonna be okay, right? Yes. Like we're gonna at least get our money back, make a little we bit of profit. We are gonna squeak out a profit. That is because, can I tell them what I found? Can I show things that I found? Yeah, there's three things. One thing that sold, and we'll show them later. Okay. We sold one thing for $125 from that uh, buyout, actually. We paid $450, remember? So we sold one thing for $125, we're gonna get to. And then we have a few other things, a couple other things that are expensive. And then, but we're also gonna show you the tote that they brought over um, to rectify the situation or whatever. But let's see what else Donna found. I was really, really sad yesterday when I was going through stuff, but you guys, look what I found. This is a, and you can see, I don't know if you can zoom in. It is a Ralph Lauren. Yep. Ralph Lauren uh, Equestri equestrian braid divided dish server, divided server. And it's going to be on for $116. So there's that so that's about 250 and then i haven't showed you this yet steve but this is there's a whole stack of richie rich and i found and some others and i found in here richie rich number one and i looked it up and it was 24 is it this one it's number 26 um i looked it up and it's 20 something dollars okay so so if we sell the whole lot we could probably get yes a bit more this one right here so i looked this guy up and he was listed 20 dollars 40 dollars whatever probably depending upon condition mm -hmm. and it's a little rough but that's all but right still number, worth something though number one yeah and this whole stack is richie rich with maybe two others um mixed in here so so, I th that'll be fun for you to go so through. So let's say $50 for that. Okay. Let's call. So now we're at like, what, 300 300 Okay. And then we actually showed this book in the video. I actually already listed this. This book, Analysis of Design and Flight Vehicle Structures, this was in their booth for $2. Um, this sells, it has a couple sold. There wasn't any listed, maybe one listed. Yeah, that's sells for like $220. So... I list it for $250. I'm sure it'll be a slow seller, but eventually, you know, it should sell for over $200. So that puts us at about $500. But, you know, then we have fees and all taxes and everything else. So to make a profit, like we have to make, if we want to make $450, we probably got to make $550, honestly, just to, just to make our money back. Oh. And so then we have a few more things besides was, dollar auction. Yeah, besides dollar auction. And the first round of dollar auction made $52. So there's yeah. that. And it was 67 things. So I've got these pair of shoes. I saw three pair listed for 75, none sold, but I'm gonna do something with those. And then we got a couple of good pair of shoes. So these are Fry. Fry leather fry. shoes. This pair, these are hiking boots. Those are I believe Keen, right there. 40. Yeah, so, so that'll put us in the profit. I'm not then. done. Oh, you're not done? Sperry's boots, these were like, I believe, 36 to $40. Yeah. And then I found two pair of Cole Haan, exactly like same size, brand new. Or close to it anyway, yeah. These are worn, but they still have the stuffing and everything. So these are Cole Haan. 
Okay. Um, so there's that. So we will make, you know, a hundred, couple hundred dollars on that deal. But the question is, Was it is a it? couple hundred dollars profit worth getting a whole trailer full of stuff for 40 or $450? Yeah, I would say no. It was with because what of the we time. Do, with what we do, it took so much time to try to get and eke out as much as we could yeah. that I listed a whole bunch of probably crap yesterday that I ended she up She listed 60-some items and only sold like 30-some of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, so it wasn't worth the effort because in the time that Donna, Donna has sorted everything. She's I looked everything all. up on eBay, everything, everything up on eBay. And what wouldn't sell on eBay, I put on dollar auction. It didn't sell on dollar. It's not worth my time anymore to take more pictures or try to sell yeah. it some other way. But I lotted stuff up yeah. on dollar. And what didn't sell went bye-bye. And there was a gal here. And so a lot of it got donated to her. And so we gotta, still have these. Yeah, we still have the black totes too. Mm -hmm. So you got to think about how much time it's probably two full days where if we wouldn't have been doing that we would have been just listing stuff we already had so yeah not a good idea we will make a profit and that's great but then yeah that's right there was one more tote they brought well i thought they were bringing a couple totes but it was just one tote and i'll show you that it's right here and there's really not much in it because here's star wars playset with no figures there's an old uh, ad at. There's they're just toys. It's a box full of toys. And the Pez. There was VHS tapes in here too. The Pez. I was hopeful about the Pez, but the Pez are all like 90s that I could find. I'm gonna go through and check them all. Um, I see 2006, but they're like late 90s, early 2000 Pez. Probably somebody's little collection. And so basically, I could lot up a few lots on eBay and maybe get 10, 15 dollars. But I think we have enough resellers on dollar auction. I'll probably sell them in a couple lots on dollar. But all of the toys are not old. They're newer. And so they're just going on dollar auction. So there was nothing in there except maybe the Pez. So we talked about this and, you know, we feel like we don't know what we're doing and that kind of thing. But it's obvious after this buy that it does take time to figure the game out, you yeah. know. And at first we were picking up all kind of stuff like this and I was trying to make a buck on the dollar auction because everything's worth something, right? Yep. Your time is worth an awful lot. So you need to base some of your decisions on that as well. All right, let's go pull the rest of the orders. Yes. Okay, since we were just talking about that buyout, this is the item that sold. This is an Italian Sarid Limited Wood Carved Boy. And this sold, and he sold overnight for $150, my full asking price. So that was cool that he sold. So he's going out. There was a couple listed higher. I just listed below everybody else, and it sold next day. And it's going to Connecticut. Okay. Box 111, Donna. All right, let's get back to it. 111. Back to work, woman. This one's heavy. What do you got in there? I'm not sure. Watch out, little boy. All right, we're looking for some enamelware pots. Green enamelware, right there, double boiler. Okay, I have a question for the viewers. Okay. I took pictures of some of this stuff with a little silk flower, a daisy, a little clump of daisies. And everything that I took pictures of with the flower sold. Really? It was sitting just right here. Here's a picture of it. And the little tea, uh, coffee pot that matches it, I had a flower beside. And so, I don't know. Does it help to put little props in the picture? I don't know. Do you guys use props? This came from the Utica, the buyout that we did. The Utica buyout, we'll call it that. Sold for $24.99 and it's going to California. 76 is where we're headed next. 76 in the bottom. They're going to be loose. There's a pail and a little plastic sand thing. These are just little... Calico Critters toys. Yep, that's it right there. This has been on sale forever. It's been listed forever. It's on sale. It sold for $5.94. It's part of a tree house. So that's going out the door. That's from the beginning when we parted out everything. Yes, and it's going to Idaho. 1002 in the clothing. All right, pair of Miss Me jeans right here. I took an offer. Donna took an offer. One of us took an offer. They're black for $22, and that's going to Kansas. Okay. Box 81. 
when we talk about doing a stay sale cleanups, this and two things, we have two things, this and something else today that came from that very first estate sale cleanup we did. We call Malcolm two years ago, probably almost. We affectionately call it Malcolm. Yes. Uh, what is this? This is this a is gorgeous. Water, a this watercolor is painting. Behind glass? Yep. This? The lady that uh, used to live there, she had a bunch of original uh pictures that she had painted and he was a photographer and so there were a lot of photographs too but this comes from there and it's sold on sale for fifteen seventy two, and it is going to north carolina nice 105 we're looking for jim shore you like jim shore i do okay in reselling and in video making and things there are always people that say, I absolutely will not ever, you need to do this. Well, my husband said, we're not going to another garage sale of this house. And I made him go anyway. <laughs> and I found for $2. So I found this guy for $2. And he is a naughty and nice Jim Shore Santa. Yep, she got two dollars and it sold for thirty-six dollars ninety-nine cents, and it's going to Texas. Going to Texas. So there are no absolutes in reselling, unless of course somebody says there is and he's right. Then there are absolutes, but be careful of absolutes. All right, let's do a couple purses. First of all, let's do a Dooney and Burke Hobo Large Sack Giraffe Print Purse. Oh, is it a dust cover? Yes. We sold one of these before. Exactly like it. Exactly like it. But the first one we sold before had a little bit of a smoke smell. This yep. does not. So we got a little more for this one. We got $64.99. And that is going to Texas also. Lots of Texas buys today. Let's do another little purse in box 117. Getting my workout. These boxes are heavy today, this guys. This little purse you took a picture of with the little daisies, like that other thing. See? I wonder. Are the daisies lucky? Do you know what you're looking for? It's a glass purse. It's a glass purse that's brown. All right. We found it right here. Another purse. A glass purse. It's heavy. You don't want to carry your coins in that one. No, they're for flowers. That's a Cheetah Print Murano glass purse sold for $18 right there. Murano style. Murano style. And it's going to Oregon. Okay. Uh, in box LU, we have a little figure. LU, we're looking for Precious Moments Love Angel. All right, what do you got there, Donna? A Precious Moments Love Angel. This is from our sister. Yep, and that sold for $18 right there. And it's going to California. There she is right there. Box R4. In R4, we're looking at a little lunch box right there. Well, Disney Firefighters. Brand new sealed uh, Disney lunch box. That come from the fire buy. That sold for $11. And it's going to Florida. Got a cute little moose pillow. Yes, we do. <laughs> Next in box 82, we're looking for, this is another the other Malcolm thing. So this is old. It was on sale, I think. I'm pretty sure. Had to be if it was Malcolm. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's well, that's bigger than I thought it was. Yeah. Holy cow. Is it breakable? Yeah. Wonderful. All right, Donna got it all out here. Look at that. Those are ceramic with the wood. It's a nativity scene with the wood background here. Terracotta, maybe? Uh, it says Peruvian handmade pottery nativity scene. So yeah, that sold for $25 and it's going to North Carolina. It's on the 50% off, so it was listed at 50 something. Yeah, took an offer for 25. Yep. Um, one more thing, a little cheapy before we talk about FedEx in GG. In here we have the International Santas and we are looking for, nope, we're looking for France. Nope. International Santas. Nope. You don't if, if you have to be front. so negative, Steve. Front. United States. France. There it is. All right. And that sold. That was on clearance, too. That sold for $4.67. And it's going to California right there. 
We just have a few of those left. And we would be happy to combine shipping if yeah. we wanted to buy a whole bunch of them. In all honesty, we have a few of these left. They shouldn't be on sale. I shouldn't have them on sale because it's like the beginning of November. So they probably would sell, but whatever. Moving it along. Let's talk FedEx. That's all you. <laughs> Here's why I have, we have beef with FedEx. Okay? Oh my goodness, you guys. Did we notice the shirt today? <laughs> Okay, FedEx. We have beef with FedEx, and it's super frustrating. So every now and then, if you do this long enough, you're going to get emails, and you're going to be told there were shipping adjustments, and sometimes you're off by a couple ounces, sometimes you're off by package size, whatever. I weigh and measure every single package I send out, double check it, even you know, and make sure it's accurate before I send them. So anytime I've gotten those, it's been really minimal, like a dollar thirteen credit or dollar thirteen, you know. Uh, you still owe or something like that. So no big deal when I get those emails. It's never been a big deal. So FedEx. So on October 21st, it was when one of the videos we sold a Matco breaker bar. This came from Storage Unit in Columbus. We sold it for $50 plus shipping. They paid about $10 shipping, right? So sent it out, mailed it out. They received it. So when I got a message saying there was an adjustment on my shipping, I didn't think no big deal of it. So I got pulled up the message and I'll pop it up here. And it says... Uh, you have a cost adjustment from FedEx and it was $35.78. $35. I looked at my eBay account, my funds account, and they already took it out. $35.78. Sorry, my dog is barking at the wind right now. So $35.78 on top of the original shipping, $11.76. So they're showing $47.54 to send out this breaker bar. To California that's not right they show the weight they show the dimensions and it's all the same as what I put in so I'm like what the heck that is crazy so I contacted eBay got on eBay uh, eBay's Facebook and I messaged them and they got back to me and I explained it to them and they said okay we'll look into this well a few hours later they said they contacted FedEx and FedEx was going to look into this and they said if there is a mistake, they will credit the account in three to five business days. That was on November 1st. It is now November 11th. So, what I've seen after doing a little research, talking to a few other resellers, bark, 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 is this happens occasionally with FedEx where they just charge. I've seen stories in groups where they charge hundreds, even like I've seen over a thousand dollars where they just like, oh, shipping charge or whatever and most people say they never get it back so what the heck is with that so we paid fifty dollars to ship one little breaker bar a small package up to california so fedex sucks so fedex sucks donna how's that make you feel it's just wrong <laughs> it's just it's just wrong so we were getting ready to film donna was out with my kid our kid, actually. It's both of our kid. Yeah, we share, uh, we share a kid. We share one. <laughs> we share three. We share a bunch. We share dogs. Anybody want a dog? Um, two, she was out, dogs? and we I was getting ready to film, like getting the camera and getting the map ready and everything, and I got an email message, and the email message says... Are you keeping secrets from me? <laughs> Maybe. You are keeping secrets from me. It says, my name is Nikki. I am with eBay customer service. Following up to share some good news about the added shipping credits for tracking. We're going to credit these charges back to your account. We've already submitted the credit for you. Credit will appear in your eBay account within 14 business days for $35.78. So. He is no longer able to wear this shirt. <laughs> Because he kept the secret from me. Uh, it just got the email right before we started filming. You kept a secret I from me. I thought it would be more fun if she gets a re if she gets an actual reaction to that. <laughs> so FedEx, I still have beef because why did you keep my $35.78? But I am getting it back. But I've heard a lot of stories of people not getting it back. And FedEx, there's nothing you can really do about it. Except so, if Nikki gets involved. Yeah, you get find Nikki at eBay. Nikki will help you oh, out. Nikki, Nikki, you're will, so fun. Nikki will take care of you. That's Mickey, but that's okay. Oh. <laughs> um, so anyway, FedEx sucks. Maybe not. Maybe not. So use your own opinion, use your own judgment. That's our FedEx story. When we planned on filming this, it was not with a refund, 
but now it's with a refund so now i'm kind of like eh. but i'll probably still just go to ups because i've heard a lot of horror stories when looking into this and men don't keep important news from your wife <laughs> for an hour it's okay i like i like her genuine reactions to things i've told the camera now because her arm is tired she's getting tired <laughs> she's not gonna be able to pull the rest of the orders yes she is okay welcome to the gun show yeah ready 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 <laughs> welcome to the gun show <laughs> all right let's finish up here we got a handful more box number 26 is where we're going to start i think we've been over here already today i told you if we double pull i apologize but that's the way it is you she's know what this right is here. she's right here fragile it says it must be italian fragile she is she's from italy this is Fashionista, elegance lady. Cleopatra. Cleopatra. There she is. Look at her. They got her in a bag of 50 cent items from a garage sale. You know where this is going? This is going international. To Italy. To Washington, D.C. <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you know. Well, that's just a joke. Uh, Washington, D.C. actually sold it for $24.00. And 99 cents right there. Uh, clothing item number 469. It's a Broncos. Yes, it is. After yesterday's game, that's probably why it went so cheap. This is on clearance. It's a women's Broncos shirt. You can see right there. Uh, size whatever. I don't know. $3.61. That's going out. NFL for her. Uh, yeah. And is that going to Denver? Nope. That is going to Missouri. So go Broncos. Even after yesterday's heartbreaking, heartbreaking loss. Next up in this big old firebox, number three, we call it, with a lot of things in it. There you go, is a polo bag. Nice leather bag. And that got, she got from a garage sale. And that's over $22.49, going to Pennsylvania. That's right. This is in box 98. 98, there you go. And it is half size coffee cup pair, sold for $17. These little cups came from a garage sale buy of three dollars they sold for seventeen dollars they're half size yes, you asked for half a cup of coffee and what's the other one say? same thing okay and they came from berryville and they're going to berryville new york yay next up underneath the battery because you can put batteries and crystal together i guess well yeah <laughs> all right let's unwrap that one all right what do you have there i have a set of two princess house fostoria never used because they still have the original sticker in them yep. uh, individual casseroles and those sold for 26.99 and they're going to alabama alabama next up it's up standing up on the end over there this thing yep there we go box 22. Next up, you've seen these recently from the Utica buy right there. That salt sellers, salt and pepper sellers right there sold for $22 and is going to New York. There's a couple things going to New York today. All right, let's do uh, box I. I. This is the cheapest thing that we've sold today. Cheaper than the Broncos shirt. It better not be that big. <laughs> right there. Got a little Hallmark ornament, um, $3.25 on clearance. Actually, it was it was on clearance for four or something. They offered $3.25. We have two of them. Getting rid of that, it's going to Texas. Winding down, just a couple more things. Box 16 is next. Oh, 16 is full, full, mm. full, full. Let's see, I gotta find what we're looking for here. See anything in there that somebody wants to purchase from the store? It's Happy Heart Treasures. Happy heart. Just a reminder while we're looking for these, we do have cup cozies, afghans, washcloths, and slippers for sale. Uh, maybe stocking stuffers for you. Just search Happy Heart Treasures on eBay and you will find them. Okay, right here we have two of these. One buyer bought two of these for two different prices, and I will explain why. These are the Cape Cod, Avon Cape Cod Bulls. So these were on clearance for. 
eight dollars and seven cents okay so i had a could send an offer so i sent an offer for 750 and the buyer bought the one for 750 well it sent the offer for one of them and then they bought the second one for the eight dollars and seven cents so i mean it's only 57 more cents but so both of them are going out to the same person and they're going to california all right i had to get this one because it's tall high up and she's not very high up so <laughs> R2 right here. Oh my here. goodness, there's something. Hmm, what is that? What thing? is that? Oh, this is a, it goes on the side of a can. You hook it onto a can and then you can drink your beers or something with it. Oh my <laughs> goodness. So what were sold though, what was sold though? This is R2. It's a little glass. Is it in this envelope? No. It's not, it's not in here. It's not in here. Oh my word. Oh no. And so the search begins. All right, we're going to look at R3. There it is. Right here. Sometimes the lister, I don't know who that might be. Sometimes it's me. Um, puts it in the wrong box. All right, we took an offer on that for $12. And that is going, it came from the abandoned apartment going to California. For how much? $12. $12. One more item, then we're done. Okay. Donna. What? Go get box 111. Don't tell me what to do. This one's heavy. We had it out once already today. Did we? Yeah. Well, there's some silverware in there. Oh, that's okay. There's actually two sets and there's only one that sold. Okay, so. which one? Well, they're the same, it says. Oneida Satin Bristol Flatware Pattern Everdale. Right there, $54.99. It's a set of flatware. Oneida flatware. Sold no. for. Does it say set one or set two? It's there's still one available. Okay, so it's the same. Yeah, they're the same. Just checking. Um, I'll just instead of opening this, I'll just post a picture of one of them so you can see the pattern. But Oneida sold for $54.99. Then that's going to Arizona. And if you wish to have one just like it, there's another one available. Yes, there is. <laughs> I need to get a soda pop. Yeah, that's it. It is <laughs> Monday. It is 442. Normally, we would be doing this much earlier. Yes. But today's a holiday. so And our can... baby is boo came over today. Hi, yeah. Jada. Jada does not watch these videos. She will not see that message. <laughs> She likes to leave little blurps here and there. Yeah. Um, so anyway, I, the shipping doesn't go out today. So now I'm going to ship like this evening. I'll pack all this stuff and we'll run to the post office first thing in the morning tomorrow. Yes. And then we'll go take stuff to the booth and we'll get on the We're next going chapter. To the booth tomorrow. Yes, we are. We are going to make a video about the booth because I am going to change it up. Yes, we are <laughs> going to make a video about the booth. So be watching for that. She thought I was going to poo-poo her. He is the great poo-pooer. Also, uh, Donna would like it. She's always told me, and I, uh, whatever. I'm going to, in the future, I'm going to make, like, every couple weeks or so, I'm going to make a shipping video, I think, where I pack things. Because there are people Who do you want to see kinda, ship? Oh, me or her, him? Her. I am absolutely going to film her shipping because I like that. <laughs> no. I liked it, but no, she don't do the shipping. But I can. Sh she did like the video, and some people like seeing how other people do it. So I'm going to start doing that every now and then. Not every week or anything, but... And not tonight. There's way too much stuff here. Yes. That's all. Thank you. I hope you've already left your town and state in the chat. Yes. But if you haven't, go ahead and do it now. If you're still watching, you freaking rock because we're hard to watch and we know it. He is. <laughs> I am. All right, cool. We're happy our treasures. Like and subscribe. Share with your friends. That's right. He's Steve. <laughs> and she's Donna. <laughs> Bye. I'll see you on the next one.